what I love in my uh, in my job in in this particular job to be a perfumer is that you you play with something who is invisible doesn't have substance you cannot touch it but it's here it's there it's around it's in the air I mean it's floating it's different than a picture, colors, or, or music. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit like music in this sense. You know, it's floating in the air. So I mean that, uh, and you cannot touch it. And, and what I love is that it influences a lot in your life. So something who is not substantial, who is here floating, is going to have an impact in your life, in your mood, in every day. And it, it's something that it's elegant and beautiful. You know what? It's a, it's a dialogue to make a perfume. It's not just you. It's a, you, for sure you have this image at the beginning. You have an idea, but little by little, when you develop the perfume, a lot of elements um, uh, are, are going to, to 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 be added, and and uh, and and you you speak with the evaluation. You speak with the customers. They smell. It's a dialogue. We speak about the perfume. We speak about the product. We imagine how it can be if we add this or that and after uh, you go you go you go until the end until you because the, uh, uh, because uh, until the end because the end is it's something difficult because uh, you can ask me when start a perfume and when finish a perfume so it start with an idea and it and and when it's finished it's quite difficult because uh, i mean uh, and and i would say that it finished when everybody smile yeah, I think so. When everybody is happy, uh, when everybody is smiling, I think it's the end of the project. Yeah. You were you were walking in the street, you cruise a beautiful woman, and this is going to give you inspiration because she has a she, she has a presence, and you are going to uh, she was your inspiration, and you are going to start something from there. So. For sure, you need you need something at the beginning, but it can come from everywhere. When I first discovered Brazil, yeah, I mean, I, I did discover new smell. It was different than in Europe, and uh, I mean, some green wet uh, aspect and uh, that uh, were new for me. Yes, 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 and 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 not just about the smell, about people about the carnival, about the energy of people. Brazil was fantastic for that. It did, and colors. I mean, uh, uh, this was a source of a lot of inspiration, happiness in this country. Yeah. And New York, yes. Uh, New York, you have an energy that I never seen in my life in another city. I mean, it's uh, it's it's something different. It's uh, you know what uh, it's, uh, it's and and this is important. I mean, uh, and you know what you, I, I think something is very important in the perfumery is uh, uh, there is no bad smell and there is no good smell. Everything is interesting, and to make a good perfume, you have to mix bad smell with good smell, and it's the execution of mixing the good and the bad is going to do something very nice. So you know what? The smell of a city, you could think that it's a bad smell, but not. It's very important in the process of, of, of creating a perfume. Yeah, yeah, very important.